then we're gonna get do it, 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 do not to say that the other live coding experiences are false by any means. Uh, you will see do the least interesting code in the world. Refactor, refactoring, I'm not going to, hey, that's not interesting. I'll do that up, up. No. You get to watch every excruciating detail of whatever I happen to do. And then today, we need objects that aren't the hunter. So we've got, at this time we have a maze that gets generated. We have a hunter, there he is. Look at him hunting away. But he hunts, hunts in vain, for there is nothing for him to find. There's just empty, Sad loneliness. There's nothing here. Why though he may to find all of the things. Now one of one of the things here is I want to add uh, Let's give something for him to do. And in order to do that, object. Now I have well, hey paint.net still gets updated. You know I've been using paint.net. a very very long time um, I used paint.net far back as 2006 but it warms my heart really no that paint.net is being updated like 14 15 years later all right one of one of the things One of the things that I that I need there's there's an exit. There's an exit. Do this. Can I spell exit? Spell exit in the, this of characters. X. I think I might be able to do this. Oh, no. Wow, uh, that went so well. Shit. Yep, it's an exit. And that's three on the top. One, two, three. All right, so I need to move it down like the two. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll move it up one each way here. Although, no. Okay, so this will be my shadow. Or will it? I don't know. Okay. all that. You can say that with a zero yoink and yoink. 
I need a new, a new color. That color, I like that color. All right. Of course, come on. Not to be outdone. Go sixty four. We're going to put the little do a complete wrap around here. I'll do it. Up, up. up. Really? So there's one exit. It's gotta gotta be spawned. Um. The of course, we need our hunting for a treasure. Of course, what what sort of what sort of right about here. Not that one. Okay, about 255 for A. Nicer. Here's kind of the middle, here's kind of the middle. I thought. I like that one, or do I like. Okay, it's. It's kind of nice. Let's go, let's go with that. Um, go down one more. Sort of a diamondy thing. One more. One, two. Da, 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 da. How did I do the outline over here? The outline over here isn't really quite the same as um. That, but just go with it for now. A little bit of definition. So that's, that's obviously a treasure, right? That's obviously it's a diamond looking kind of thing with a sort of a diamondy color. Now that I've been I can unselect some of this with is it control? Shift. That. And how can I? Ooh, I can. That's cool. Oh, oh, look at that. Uh, wait, what I was looking for. Back one. I'm not even using it. Okay. No, that, no. Let's see. Section 
section. That's not what I want. So there you go. There you go. So there's a couple of different types of something. The dither is its own thing. So that is not a something. So let's go and save this up. And we do need add <clears throat> big get more sprites. Put more sprites in. At the door, the other, and now I've got an exit. Exit and a diamond. Exit and diamond. Exit is at 80. And the diamond. That's not, I don't want it to be a diamond. Diamond. All right, so for now we've got that, and here in game data, we need object type. So object type, we have a hunter, we have a key, we have a door north-south, door east-west. Um, we have um, exit. And we have a diamond. So those are the things. <clears throat> we have pretty soon we need a pretty soon we need a creature sprites man creature sprite object sprite manager. We need a flag of fire. Who do we need a flag of fire? Although that's already a little bit better. Hmm. Ah, uh, we need a flag of fire. Okay. We fell through trade. Apple demands. Um, but one of the things that that really really necessary to do is to put these a couple different ways. One, I can put a key in non-dead-end rooms and I can lock all the dead-end rooms. Darsland, what's going on? Welcome to this dream. Figuring out figuring out rooms and keys today. Now, I've, I've done rooms and keys a bunch of different ways. Uh. 
So let's let's start with uh, populate keys and locks here. Void of you keys and locks. Let's get that done. Or at the very least, let's get that done. So now, after we've scaffolded the maze, <clears throat> my cells. I think I need some sort of like maze generation context. Those are some data that it's really very useful to share in between. Um, in between stuff, but I don't need to keep it the whole time. I don't need to keep it around after I've after I've generated the room. So we're gonna go. Um, with yeah, let's we're doing it. Okay, so game data. So we're gonna have a. It's only gonna be here. So class room generation. Context. Need a little bit better than that. Oh. I'm just going to add it. Okay, add. New item. Your file. Room generation context. Include oh, come on class room generation context public and do a room context naturally. Go ahead and add the CPP file while we're at that room generation context and include. Generation context, and we'll say room. Generation, to say the word room generation context, a whole bunch of times. And there we have it. Okay, now what's in it? Don't know yet. The thing I know is that um, room generation context. Oh, four o'clock. Time to get up. I've been up. I've been up for a while. But four o'clock is the last is the last time that I will get up for. Under start. So this one no, let's let's through experiment. Take a look at well let's through inspection, let's take a look at what we want this to be. So when I uh, when I start. I say start and I go okay. Generate the room. So when I generate the room, this is when I need my context. So this is this is this is what we do. So a room 
generation context context but does whatever and my room generation context scaffold maze and smooth terrain I know scaffold maze needs it scaffold maze room generation context reference So that's our room generation context with a scaffold maker. Pass the context in. Context. Go to your definition here. Not the definition. I want the definition. Room scaffold. Get the def Which one did I put it on? Put it in scaffold maze. All right. Yeah, scaffold maze. Scaffold maze needs a context. Third room needs no context, but scaffolding maze cells, that's going to need a context. Scaffold maze cells. And we'll put it there. Context. And you call it context. And scaffolding a maze cell. Also going to need those. Cell context. I'm going to rename you Maze Cell. All right, I need actually an Are You a Dead End? Or has door count? Could either, either one. The rule is dead end. Cast. Does so cell is dead end is dead end maze cell is dead end. Uh, we'll just return false for now, and I gotta switch to my oof, gotta switch to my bouncy ball. Now, my back's feeling a lot better today, but it's just quite all there. There's a mark. Oh, of course. Power cords. Yes. Maybe it's a bat. Who knows? No, it's got because of that. I mean, really. We'll see how long we can get with this. All right. Oh, that's, that's quite nice, really. All right. So, is it a dead end false? How can we detect if something is a dead end? No, oh, and, and what's it? What is exits? Exits is a. Or. Auto possible just so int count equals zero. For auto entry and exits. Um if entry is not that second. Open. Count plus plus. Oh, we 
return count is one. So then, with each of these, Add a data, but I don't have I don't have a thing. I have a way of storing these two things together. Blah blah blah. I don't want to leave them detached. <sighs> that looks like I'm I'm making a um a location type of something and any item location name space t g g d common class location Credit and we have public. I want to call this an XY. This is called an XY. Here an XY. Yes. I want these things to be nice and simple. Private. And there's going to be a template. So, template class type name. Dimension T dimension X T dimension Y public Can I can I get defaults? Oh we say x, y, we have a default constructor, then our x, y. So whatever, x, y, um, t dimension, no, const t dimension, that, and const t dimension, that y, gives me an x, that's an x, and a y, that's a y. That's what that do. This is really just meant to be a read only thing. Const t dimension get x const turn x const t dimension eh, get y const return y. Right on. And in my room generation context, I need an XY of size T. Uh, slash common. X, Y. And we need a vector. So private C D vector of T G G D common X Y 
dead ends. So X, Y, size T. Now, there we go. Can I put this back, or does it say that's a it figured out? Hey, it figures it out. Const one of these things. <laughs> Const that thing. Get dead ends. Const void add xy add dead end. A const one of these things. Okay, <clears throat> so let's get that going over here in context. And we return dead ends. Oh, we have to get, okay, so hold on. Dead ends. That maybe get the room generation context class name functions. You don't need to be so. <clears throat> Dead ends push back XY. And so now when we are generating our room, <clears throat> if it is a dead end. If this cell is dead end, we then add to our context add a dead end. When I do this room column room row, can I do it's not gonna work. I'll see if it does. Let's go. Up, up, up. It's not a problem. Nope. Okay. What's our problem? Couple maze cell. Well, we have to get past the context, don't we? Context. And pass the context. Oh. Our syntax errors. Right, let's see. Hey, that's an XY that has what value? And five? Seven, one nineteen, one. But oh yeah, I suppose it goes up to like two. two. All right, that's cool. Let's continue.
That's two, three, zero, one, two. That's that three one. Okay. Nope, that's right. <clears throat> Excellent. So now we're going to commit this at this point. Added added room generation context when generating a room. Redundantly repeated repetition redundant. But that's all right. <clears throat> but I'm not calling this yet. So after I've scaffolded the maze, you and let's. Keep you and let's close everything else that is not a pinned tab. Populating keys and locks. So how many are there? <clears throat> so how many keys do I generate? Then how do I scramble it? What I need, I need is to go, all right, so I've got Got my key. I've got my context. I know how many dead ends I have. How many dead ends do I have? Int with size t dead end count with context get dead ends dot size. So we know how many dead ends. So size t block count is dead end count divided by two. <clears throat> No, I can lock every last door. I can. We're lock them. We're lock them. So four. Uh, auto whatever. That's why in the context dot get dead ends. What is it? XY is going to be a const XY. Great. But so I do need for each one of these room column XY X room row. Then we need to search for the room. So for auto direction in room direction helper, I need a get all. I need a get all room direction helper. Let's keep you commented out for the moment. Room direction helper. Static. What did we do for main direction helper? Helper's gonna be basically that. No room direction. Oh, 
more or less that thing. Open your brain vector into the oh, Yes, we do. Number. And there they all are. Back over to here. Room direction equals direction. Get all. I would just say. Go room direction. Default to north. Because default to something. Oop. Um, no, we don't care. We don't care. Next room column. Well, room direction helper. Get next column. Room column. Room row direction. Very similar thing for next row. Next row. So now, uh, root, root, get cell, next room column, next room row, dot, get terrain. If this one is the terrain type floor, so that's floor. <clears throat> then we're going to break out of here. At the end, we're going to break. But one of the first things we're going to do is. Um, Going to decide well if room gets L let's, let's get let's get the room cell um, say auto room cell auto eh, equals that equals that for you you are that what does room cell become? Room. Oh. Here's the room cell. Here's the room cell. If that the terrain is floor and So, an object is null pointer. So, must not have a thing there, and then which type it is. Either going to be object 
type door no south or an object door east west not east south don't go it's gonna be east west why what what go the definition yeah, no it's not door so object types east west <clears throat> so if the direction so I want the door oops let's actually look at the thing so this is my door north south so if I'm east or west I want north south my door direction equals room direction east or direction room direction west okay and this thing is super ugly so we're gonna put it this way so it's a little bit clear if that thing one of these then do that else do that and then so now we've added the correct And room object cell object terrain type object type object equals aim yep, it's got a star star equals new <clears throat> one of these things <clears throat> and the object type is creature data. So object type, object type, and then room cell dot set object to object. So now, very least, I should be able to. All the doors are locked. Now all the doors are locked, but I'm not rendering them. Room panel render. Draw cells, draw cell, the, the, the draw cell, draw terrain, draw object. Object is no. Okay, so now actually, right now, it'll just draw a whole bunch of hunters everywhere. Let's see what happens. Well, let's not see what happens because there's actually a leak. Where does it. Where did the move hunter update? Where's placing the hunter? That and if, uh, auto pulls that auto room cell. We're going to grab this out because we're using it multiple times. And next, So it has to be a floor and get object must equal null pointer. I reckon I'm going to actually have a couple of different floor types in a minute here. But at least now, okay, let's see. Does it lock, does it lock a bunch of things? Do I have a bunch of hunters all over the place? Or does it look like I have a bunch of lock hunters all over? Whoop. Yep. 
Perfect. No, no, it does not. Oh, am I not calling it? I mean, I may not be calling it. So populate keys unlocked. Uh, so under start. Oh, well, when we scaffold the maze. Populate keys and locks with a context. Let's see. Does it happen? What's going on? What's happening with this thing? Hey, look there. Oh, I got. Ooh, that's that's. I'm leaking now. That's not a. That's not a good. It's not a good thing. When I move the hunter. Ouch. And so now it should stop me. Now it's going to stop me. Can't move in this stuff. Okay, cool. But. Okay. I'm going to make this a lousy bit of code here. Say door and S. Or east west. Or call it in a sprite file. Big sprites. And as door in EW door. Okay, that's perfectly fine. And as door. And you're the EW door. So. Oh. Which object type are you? Switch. And it's going to be awful. It's going to be awful. Really? Go to the definition. Data. Huh. All right. I need a const version. I need a non-const version. Ooh. Eh, oh, nope. Eh. Get a const. Does it break anything? Do I need the non-const version? Really take care of those. Where is where are you at? Um, so this likes to deal with ints. Hey Amen. Gets rid of my warning now. Okay. Now in my renderer. So. We're gonna. We're gonna uh, so std string uh, sprite name equals. Um, object type, object type equals object, get object data. So 
object type. Oh, super ugly. Object type is equal to object type hunter. Then the sprite hunter. Otherwise. And yeah, we don't need anything else there. Otherwise, if it is door east west, then sprite door east west. Otherwise, sprite door north south. That's all there is. A sprite name. I'll render that. This may work. Maybe. <sighs> hey, look. Look, it's you. Lovely thing, you. Yay. Bunch of little locked doors. Of course, I'm going to need to now litter the floor with keys. And I'm going to need some other type of stuff. I'm going to need um, a dead end floor. Why, thank you, Darcy. It is getting there. So now I got, well, okay. We commit generating locked doors for the maze. And now I've got a couple of interesting problems. So my terrain type, I'm going to have a second type of floor. Floor dead end. The reason that I want floor dead end value are, are now 16. Yeah, look, you're going to look just like look just like a piece of floor. But it's something I can key off of. But then I wind up with a terrain type helper. Terrain type helper. Public static. Tool is floor. Terrain. The reason I want this is because I want to, for each of the dead end rooms I want to go, you're a dead end piece of floor. So then later when I'm generating, hey, what are the... When I'm looking for places to put treasures, right? Or when I'm looking for places to put keys, I can go ahead and do that. So new item, in type. Oh, here's a CPP file. Include the include terrain type and have a bool terrain type helper is floor terrain type terrain type and it's really just a switch. Fault is no, it's not floor case. Okay, so Terrain type, it's actually floor, or uh, floor dead end, and return true. 
Is it four? So in here, what I'm looking for There are lots of these places. That one's correct. That one's okay, like a flag map. And then right here, right here. Um, A room, get to sell. Um, call room room. Get to sell and set terrain. Terrain type. Or dead end. So now we know. That one's marked. So I found it's a dead end. Mark it. As the dead end. But all these other things, terrain. We're checking. So, flagifying direction, we're checking that it's not floor. So, terrain type helper is floor. Not terrain type helper is floor for this particular terrain. Our type name. Oh, Colin, Colin. If not lore, that's this one. Back with that. If that. have a flagify function, don't we? Yes, we do. Well, no. We need the whole flagification thing over in there. So. It's going to be similar to this, but it's going to be a not a not. And the thing is called room cell. And when we move him, same deal, he must be on a floor. Next cell. And one more. So it's really that exact same head here, right here. So that's a bit of a refactor, so let's let's see that that works. Well, it should still work. Dare we hope? Okay, build anyway. Still can't go in there. And then. So now I know. I've now generated all of the locks. So populate. The call is just populate locks. I'm going to go to the definition here. Rename. Populate locks. Very many places where they place. Populate locks. I'm going to populate keys. Um, 
a very similar thing here, but it's a separate step. And a context. And really, for this one, it's a bit simpler. Key count is that. Um, size T key count is that dot size. That's how many keys I have to add. One for each dead end room. Where's my populate key lock? Lock and then populate keys. Now I am specifically looking. Uh, where's my uh, utility? Generate random number range. Yes, I do. So while key count is greater than zero, <clears throat> room column equals utility tggd common utility generate random number from range zero and room counts room row is that from there to get rows Okay, so good cell, auto room cell, room get cell, room column, room row. Now, room cell is a room cell pointer. So, and very specifically, if room cell it object has to have nothing in it and room cell a get terrain terrain type this one does need to be floor what we gonna do is say there's a Room cell object green type object type really need a type def for this dollar object equals a new one one of these You are object type you keep room cell set object object and key count minus minus. So we eventually place all of the keys. Now I don't have. My render for my room panel. Then do is the north door, north south. Then I should do right door, north south. Otherwise, we should have sprite key. There is no sprite key, so we just add sprite key const. Std string 
break the ankles. Hold key. All right, <clears throat> this is it. Called key. It should be called key. Key. Key item. All right. Key item is a fine name. Um. Over here. Did we go? I know it here. Here in the renderer. Key item. A swell name. And with you. Oh, you know what? Int. I'll give you ints. No, there may be keys everywhere. Up, oh, down, no, Well, that was quick. They're locked in a room. Oh, there are some keys. Now I can't grab them. Yet. So. So I've got now a new choice. A new choice to make. Is a key part of your inventory? Is a key just an aspect of your character? I don't know yet. Just don't know. But in any case, I gotta get some coffee, so I will be right back. Stop, 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 stop. 
back and switching the chair again. Have, have Mr. Heating Pad. Hi, Mr. Heating Pad. All right, we're about, about going to have... Uh, and I've thought about it a bit. Thought about it. And perhaps keys is just a statistic. But how do we store... How do we store this thing? Is this stored in game data? Is it stored in the creature? And if so, how do we... Um, we do this and also once upon a time C++ RTTI or dynamic cast it was called C++ cast point to Safely converts pointers and references to classes up, down, and sideways along the inheritance hierarchy. So I do want dynamic cast. So if I make with my subclasses of the object type in order to make a hunter, right? Does he have a key? But for now we've got, we have keys generating, we just don't have the ability to pick them up. And we can get ourselves locked into there. So, actually, another important thing to put in here is when we are placing our hunter. Where do we put the hunter? Where do we put him? Right, when we... Art? Art. Okay, this is okay, this is place hunter. Right, this one actually does need to be the floor. Now should not ever be locked into Explore about that far. Isn't that great? Okay, so here's a key right next to the door. Ding! All right. So room get object equal equal null pointer. I think what I want. So okay, generating keys. Generating keys in room. Okay, hit that. Right now, I want to go into my room cell. I'm gonna go as object. Cool as object const return object uh, equal to null pointer. That's it. So instead of all of this, all this get object stuff. Just go has object, not has object. That's a little, uh, what they call primitive obsession. That one, that one, get has not 
has object. Yes, I could actually just deal with the boolification of a pointer type. But let's not do that. That would be the very C way to do it. And this is its own operation. So, generate room, place hunter. Void place hunter. Place hunter. Take you. That. All right. All right. Actually, no, I do not. Do not. He just randomly he randomly pops in someplace. How did he get there? What difference does it make how he got there? He's there. He's there. Deal with that. Yeah. Right on. And uh, move to refactored hunter placement function. So we're still up. Oh, hey, no, no. Did I not? Did I fail? When I generate the room. Uh, scaffold the maze. Where are we going? Your room. Scaffold maze cells. And so room column room row so terrain terrain type floor dead end. It is doing this, right? <clears throat> and then where's my place hunter function? Brain type has to be floor, and that has to have an object. So let's certain. Okay, so. Okay, we verified that these things have dead ends. So, room cell. No object. What's the column in the row? Seven. Dean. Well, we're gonna have to, to keep an eye on this. Okay, no, 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 I don't want to do that. All right, well, we'll deal with things and figure it out at some point. But now, I need a new object type. Uh, 
quick save me that hunter object. What are we going to call you? What are we going to call you? Ed. Is he going to call you hunter? We'll call you hunter? We'll call you hunter. Your class, hunter. And what are you? You're from. So I need. Room. Cell object. Room, cell object. Brain type, object type. I need both of those things. Include terrain type and include object type public. Public hunter. I'm going to say private. Uh, size T keys. Do a const. I'm oh, just going to do size t. Get keys. Const. Uh, we're going to add a key. We have add a key. Um. Void. Add key. This should be about all the stuff I need. Hunter. Include Hunter. Hunter colon colon. Put all the colon colon things in. Boom 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 boom. Hit keys. So when this. I'm going to say base, what is it going to do next? Room, cell object, T terrain, or terrain type, object type, uh, object type. Here, a hunter. Cool. And moves, nope, not moves. Keys, zero. Keys, return keys. Add key. Keys. Plus plus. So do I have keys? Yeah, do we even care? We only care, does he have a key? <clears throat> so no, I need the number. And bool. Has key const. We do care about the keys because we need to write, we need to write that out on the side. But when we're trying to unlock a door, we just go. Do you have one? Do you have a key? Got a key? Great. Return keys greater than zero. No idea. So that just tells us it sort of flips out for a while. Well then, are actually a hunter. Are a hunter star. Okay, and let's see what does that break over here in game data. That do something, right? Doesn't work here. Equals new hunter. New hunter. Set the object. Great. So now when I. Right. Uh, added those. Added a specific hunter object class. Uh, 
Master Class for Room Objects. That's what I did. Who did that? Oh, we don't know if we built. So overzealous with my committing. Oh, so we're good. We're, we're at least building. Okay. So, oh, when close all but pinned. Here, when I move move hunter. Move hunter. If next cell has object bool complete move equals true. If complete move. And now I have a thing where I say complete move. Oops, false. So That is a floor. All right, if it has an object, we say you can't complete the move. Let's test that. Switching a little bit. So now we're going to now we're going to do different things based on what object he runs into. Why? 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 Let's place Hunter if his room is no pointer. Okay. The row, there's a fell in the row. Ugh. Bothers me because I don't know why. Okay, so now we're blocked from moving into things. Great. But now let's at least write it down as bug. Keep spawning in a locked room. No oh, good. Fine for now. I want to get locks and keys working, and then I think I want I need to tackle that because that's 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 no good. So when I move the hunter, I'm moving the hunter. I see. Here's the next cell. He has an object. What? What object type is it? M auto object equals next cell get object. Okay, and what are you? You are a pointer. Yep. Yes. If object get object data is a object type key then switch this is a switch case object type key Hold. that there Hunter, Hunter. Hunter, where's my Hunter? Here's a Hunter. Oh, go to the definition of that. Get Hunter. You're not that. You're a Hunter. 
طيب Enter. Hunter and Hunter. Where's my move Hunter? Move Hunter. Hunter. No. Hunter. Next cell set object no pointer. Well, I think I want I think I want remove object, not just set object. Yeah. Cell doodad void remove object if object done uh, set object null pointer delete. Remove object. Okay. So let's do it. So I should. Well, let's also get here. Renderer should be able to. I'm rendering how many moves I've got. No, not the room panel. Uh, room status, the status panel. All right, that's that's what I want. Ooh, I have to clear that out. Get main render. No pointer. Now we'll put in here draw moves. Void draw moves const void draw keys const you there da don't you right there. And we'll say this one is draw moves. Draw moves. Draw keys. Very similar. Similar something. Keys. Magic. It is still a magic string. Uh, dot get hunter. Game data is so I do need so get hunter const. I do be able to grab you. How nice. Um, yeah. That's power order. Get hunter. 
keys. Plus, plus 16 with a to do magic number. Don't like magic numbers. And let's see. Let's see, that does it work? Still does it work? Still generate there. And I need the key. Up oh, it putting it ow. Oh. Ha. How about oh, this is my how about my magic number you know, on the Y? Alright. Okay. Well, now I can grab keys. Now I need to be with doors and open doors. When I'm in my game data and I move the hunter if I'm at object type key. Otherwise, case object type east west door, object type north south door. Uh, if, I'm going to put a break. If hunter has key. Remove the object. I'm going to say hunter remove key. But we don't have a hunter remove yet. Void remove. Hunter remove key. Uh, keys equal keys greater than zero, then keys minus one, else keys. That's what that's going to do. Does it build? Can I open doors? What? 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 Has key. A minute. Sense. Whoa. Come on then. Okay. 
is my object. Object. It is a door in S. 10 again. Does the hunter have a key? No, he does not have a key. Wait, what? That one, that one. Oh, 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 what else? Complete move. I just leaked a bunch of, I leaked a bunch of things. Oops. Stop me. Da, 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 da. Oh, but you know what? Put that there and and see. Right now I'm in this cell. What's in I'm in cell. Cell has terrain of floor. It should not have a terrain of floor. It should have, oh, oh, you know what? I get it now. I get it now, because when I'm smoothing the terrain, smooth my terrain. flag map mm. it has lost so uh, huh all right okay, one more flag though Uh, we're actually going to say this one. Only, we only care about this one if it... Will this make it work? Only actually need to flagify it. This may work then. I may... Is that door? This whole key thing unnecessary busy work. Is that really? We're saying here, we kind of are. Well, there's one way, okay. All right, all right, all right. Hunter can unlock doors. So it is okay. So that's that. I think is done. So sounds, sound, sound effects. Um, get key. Bump wall. Uh, bump door. We'll put both bumps. Put this, put this 
same bump, bump, wall, bump, door. Um, no, I want a different one. Bump, door. Um, unlock, door. Step. Oh, we'll say we'll say we got that kind of done. Have the exit being placed yet? One of those things. <laughs> so this can be a time of making sound effects. I'll update. Okay, go ahead and update paint. By all means, do do update. It's preparing to install while it prepares to install. I need some um I think this might be good sound for trying the lock. So I got this little Furby thing. Okay, it's time for sound engineering for a little bit. Microphone here. Test one, two, test one, two. Yeah. That's right. Could turn down, turn down the volume that so I can't hear anything. It is sound time. So I need a. So I got. Oh, you know what? You know what? I have Do I have any good ones. Hmm. Hmm. Where are all my locks? I have locks. I work for a lock company. But then, I shall return momentarily. Just 
One of my locks. So we're gonna we're gonna record that. And that will be the unlock sound. So I gotta bring up my bring up my app. Um, where's oh where are you? There we are. First test out. How's, how's my battery doing? My battery's it's blue. It's blue. What that is. So let's see how well. Let's give it a listen. Let's get some noise reduction up in here. Let's get over here. I like that sound. I like that sound right there. This one. Sound. That's a lock. That's a lock. That's a good lock. I like that one. it right there good good, it's good sound or as a wave file or wrong one that's okay Better than chomp chomp. That's that's true. Hunter. That's audio. S F X. Unlock. You are on the unlock sound. So we're gonna need some. Uh... Well, let's at the very least let's just get that one in. Also means I have to add this to my big file for my SFX. Lock. Assets, audio, SFX, lock.lab. So when this happens, the game data has to have, we have the sound effects manager. We don't have the sound effects manager. Now the sound effects manager, Sorry, sound manager. I play the sound. 
play sound, it's const. So I can go ahead, say, game data. I do const sound bggd common sound manager. So I've got a sound manager. I have to pass it into here. It says, well, hey dude, you need the thing. Sound manager. We say sound manager is that sound manager. So now we've I'm missing okay game data dot h needs needs an include and then managers some so there's that now we've passed that to it. I'm just very interested in having it um, play, sound, play sound to do magic string. Don't like magic, still don't like magic strings, but I just, I need it. I need to hear it. I need to hear the thing go click. Oh, no appropriate default constructor available. You're right. Get the sound manager in here. Oh, no, no, I do not. Yeah. All right, get it. Yeah, find me a key. We got a key. That's nice. Try. Right, we're gonna we're gonna do that again. Oh yeah. Let's get. I don't know what what sound do we make when we are we're picking up a key. What sound do we make when we're picking up a key? I think that I think that's it. <laughs> Dropping a quarter onto a key. That's gonna that's just gonna have to do it, right? All right. I have to turn it down because otherwise I'm going to hear it quiet on the set. The width. Get a noise profile. Turn this back up. There's that. And noise reduce the whole thing. People listen.
Oh, I like the third one best. I think the third one is good. I want to listen to it again. Yeah, that is it. And, ooh, you, let me zoom in a bit. Start leading up to it. The the tail goes to here. I like it. That's a good sound. Do I do I really need though? I don't need I don't need this. Yeah, that's good. That's good. As well. Well, you get key. It'll be about all we have time for today. But we're gonna get this. I don't want to. No, stop it. No. Get that into our big file. Get key. Get key. And so that's and then we'll play it whenever you grab the key. That's a, that's a thing right there. You know what? I think I don't want, I think I still want to stop you when you've unlocked that door. So that's the one last thing. I'm just gonna, so. Let's see how that looks. Cause I can really very quickly do that. Yeah, I think I, I like, I like that effect like you've, Good stop right there. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna commit this, but one of the things, um bump wall, bump door, or slash that's the slash no key. So I got a key, that's done, and unlocking the door I got that. That's about all I've got the time for today. Make sure everything still, still builds, still runs. Tomorrow. And there can also be different types of keys where I can completely change. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of different things that can be down here. That's a good sound. Click. Yeah, good times. That's good. All right, are we committed? T. 
key and lock sounds are in. One of these days, this is going to be like game enough to actually go on itch.io. And what do we do? We go to Twitch. We go to Twitch. Find which friend, which neighbor. We got Crash. What's Crash doing? Doing Helbarian. He's preparing. Okay, we're, we'll go to Crash because he's actually live cutting. Not to say that Tim's stuff isn't important, because it is. There we go. Yay, going over. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll be back tomorrow. Just, 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 just